here we are. Welcome to the third and last part of our Schnitzel Wiener Art with Kartoffelsalat. In the last episode we made two different styles or two different kinds of German potato salad. The Grand Grandma's... What, is, what, what do you call them? Rheinland-Pfalz? No, not Rheinland-Pfalz. Rheinland, the, the Rheinland potato salad okay. and the Swabian. The Swabian potato salads. Um, and because we will later um, pan fry the schnitzel and we want to pan fry it in butterschmalz, we showed you in the, not the last, the before the season, first? the first of Part. the, no it was not the first, it was the fifth, it was the fifth episode, there was the first, this is like, like Star Wars. <laughs> First, it, we showed you yeah, the Butterschmalz. The Butterschmalz. The original Wiener Schnitzel, Vienna Schnitzel, is. Um, the meat is veal. <laughs> the original Wiener Schnitzel is veal. Okay? He means veal. V E A L. What did he say? He said wheel, like, like a wheel from a car. Wheel. Right! Why? Hey, we learned we, it! Wheel. We are making Vienna style, that means, that means different meat. And we use pork. But you can also use uh, chicken. Or, yeah. what is the other one? There the big one. Two. The oh, turkey. Turkey, yeah. Same technique. We have a piece of meat and we have to pound it. Let's do it. In our restaurant, we use boneless pork loin. It is excellent for pork schnitzel Vienna style. First, we have to trim the meat. Yeah. Now we cut the pork loin in pieces of seven ounces. And for now, we pick these two. Now we have two wonderful, beautiful, lean pork loin. We have to make them flat. We can use, for example, kind of uh, hammer. No, not a kind of this hammer. Not this hammer. A hammer like this. A meat hammer. We will put a link in the description if you want to order that. If you don't have a hammer like that and you don't want to buy a hammer like that, you can you can use um, a pen. A pen for example, yeah? Um, but we will do that with a hammer. That looks good. That's awesome. Yeah. And do you know what we need now? Of course. With a German schnitzel, you need a German beer. Absolutely. So, what do we have here? I have a Gaffelkölsch. This is the beer from my hometown, Cologne, in Germany. And it's my favorite German beer. And I do have a Warsteiner. I guess the most uh, the most people know Warsteiner. It's a really popular German beer. Mm -hmm. It's not really strong, but it's not bad. It's a Pilsner. Cheers. So the difficult part is over. We pounded the schnitzel. It's nice, thin and flat. And now we have to season and bread the schnitzel. But first. First, before breading and seasoning. Prost! Prost! Black pepper, salt, and paprika. And the other side. Seasoning, a little bit exhausting, so we need a little break. Prost. For the breading, we need flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs.
Okay, we are ready for pan frying our schnitzel. I can tell this was exhausting. It was, it was, it was. I think we need another sip of beer. You're right. Definitely. German break. We use a, a large pan with a high rim and then we start melting our Butterschmalz. What's it called? Clarified butter. Clarified butter. Yeah, well. We use around about three tablespoons. Medium high. Do you smell the butter flavor? Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Mm. Mm. After around about two minutes, we will have a wonderful golden brown color. We just flip it. So we here we have the Swabian potato salad and this is the recipe of Andrea's grandma. From the Rhineland. This is the taste of Germany, I, I will tell you. So let's try it, let's try it. It's thin, you see? It's thin, mm. now outside. <laughs> it's crispy. Tender, crispy, yeah. buttery. No, oh, the smell, the smell. You, you don't leave the smell. Mm. 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 I don't know what to say. But you know what? I want a potato salad. I don't know which one is better. They're, they're completely different. But they're both amazing. I thought this is my favorite. I don't know. The whole meal, the whole meal is wonderful. It's the taste of Germany. Mm.